The scene of the crime is presented by Billy Johnson, Jr., attorney at law. Today on the scene of the crime, we take a look back at three unsolved cases covered in 2017 that remain unsolved. First, the case of Clancy Atkins. In February of this year, Adkins was fatally shot in his home on Coon Branch of Island Creek in Pike County. He has a mother that's 77, and she's really sick, you know. If someone needs to come forward, I'd hate for her to die, and, you know, and not knowing that, you know, who killed him and why. And he's got grandkids that, you know, that talks about him every day. One's three years old, and that's all she talks about. And it's just hard, you know, not knowing who done this. So someone needs to come forward, you know, even if it's just a little something that they don't think even means anything, that, you know, it might mean something. Next, the case of Glenver Keith Osborne, who went missing over a decade ago and has yet to be found. March of 2006, Post 9 receives a call from the family of Glenver Keith Osborne. I reported him missing. Um, you know, we had our detectives, and I think some of our troopers went out. Um, around that time frame, we located Mr. Osborne's vehicle and went to the plaza here in Cold Run. Um, I, during that time frame, a lot of people was interviewed, and you know, at this point, we believe there is people that's still around who can assist us on this case. However, for whatever reason, they haven't came forward as of now. Finally, the murder of Billy J. Hall of Mud Creek in Floyd County. November 5th, 2015, uh, family members located uh, Billy J. Hall at his residence uh, in the uh, Branham's Creek area of Mud Creek in Floyd County. Uh, he was unresponsive and uh, called EMS. Uh, EMS determined that uh, he was actually deceased and when the coroner arrived, it appeared that there was some foul play. If you have any information about any of these cases, please contact Kentucky State Police Post 9 at the number on your screen. Reporting in Pikeville, I'm Polly Hopkins for EKB News.